Interstate 16 is a 167 mile long route that has existed since the year 1966. It runs from I-75 in downtown Macon, Georgia to Montgomery Street in downtown Savannah, Georgia. For as long as it is, I-16 doesn't actually travel through any other states. It's purely dedicated to Georgia alone and we're looking at an interstate here. Beginning in downtown Macon, the first thing we cross is not actually a road, but the Aquangee River. I hope I said that right. Which, by the way, is concerningly brown. We then meet our first routes, which are US 23, 80, and 129, all on the same mile. US 23 also returns a mile later for another exit. Now, besides Macon and Savannah, I-16 doesn't actually go through any major cities. It mostly sticks to small rural farming towns. The first few of which are Huber, Jeffersonville, Danville, and Allentown. Amazingly, the small town of Dudley, which doesn't even have 600 people, apparently warrants two whole exits and a rest area. This just seems like a colossal waste of money. <laughs> Next up is the city of Dublin, which is actually rather sizable by I-16 standards, even if it's still under 20,000 people. I-16 never actually goes into Dublin, so instead we have three separate exits that lead back to the city, being State Route 257, US 441, and State Route 19. We also cross the Ockany River and find an exit for State Route 199 that leads back to East Dublin, but not quite Dublin proper. Also on the chopping block are exits for State Route 29, State Route 15, and US Route 221, all three of which lead back to the town of Soperton. Next is an exit with State Route 297 before meeting the long-fabled US Route 1. State Route 57 also makes an appearance next, followed by State Route 23 for Metter, or is it Meter? I don't know. Anyone up for some US Route 301? I hope so, as our next exit features it front and center as the fastest way to Statesboro in the north. But if you don't feel like using that exit, or you're coming from the east, then our next exit, State Route 67, offers a faster way. After this, we meet exits for Pembroke, Pembroke again, and Lanier, though perhaps more importantly, Pembroke, this time with the added feature of US 280. We also find exits for Meldrum, the Jimmy DeLoke Parkway, and the Pooler Parkway. And after 157 miles, we meet the climax of Interstate 16, that being the recently upgraded interchange with the route, the myth, the legend itself, Interstate 95. Interestingly, I-16 actually continues for a few more miles into Savannah, including exits for State Route 307 and Chatham Parkway. In downtown Savannah, I-16 meets its only child route, that being Interstate 516, before having exits with 37th Street and State Route 25, whereat I-16 spurs off onto Montgomery Street where it just ends. And that's I-16 in its boring entirety. Besides Macon and Savannah, this route has the rare title of meeting absolutely nothing interesting between its two ends, a title that even I-72 doesn't hold. But, oh well, it still serves as a useful arterial between Macon and Savannah. I'll see you all in the next episode of Interstates, where I talk about I-22.